Why did I write an omelette the musical show in the vegan video? Is this offensive? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Hello, users of the internet, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're one of my current 882 subscribers, then welcome back. And if you're not, that's okay. Today, I am here once again with plans to be a culinary goddess. And by that, I mean I'm going to arrange a bunch of things that I haven't cooked and put them on a board. The skill it's going to involve is immense. It is currently the 28th of January. I don't know why I looked at my watch for the date. Which means that the first month of 2021 is officially coming to an end. How crazy. And that also means that the month of Veganuary, Veganuary? I don't know how to pronounce it, send off in the comments below, is also coming to an end. For those of you who don't know what it is, honestly join the club. But I think for some reason a bunch of people decide to eat plant-based foods for the first month of the year and then completely fall off the wagon and go back to their carnival diet. I'm not really sure. My eating slash dietary preferences are honestly unlabelable. I don't really know. But for the most part I like to partake in vegan foods. I'm a hoe for a substitute. Which is all fun and games until you go out with your friends and they become obsessed with charcuterie boards. Literally meat and cheese. Two food groups that I really don't delve into. For me, it's a board of nightmares. However, today, we're about to change that. Recently, this Australian vegan cheesemonger called La Petite Fomangerie, amazing name, terrible pronunciation, but amazing name, opened up a brick and mortar store in Newtown. Normal vegan cheese and I have a terrible relationship. I think the bio cheese that you get at Coles is kind of the taste of what foot fungus smells like. So I've just kind of chosen to cancel cheese altogether until today. This cheese is apparently superb, phenomenal. So I'm gonna combine that with some random fake meats I can find, some vegetables, pickled and otherwise, some cruskets, I think that's probably about it because that's all I can think of, and construct my very own vegan charcuterie board with the help of my friend Ellen who should be popping over any minute. So I'll see you downstairs, let's get the plant-based party started. Hello, Ellen is here. Hello. Welcome. Ellen has beautifully constructed this plant-based beauty in front of us. <laughs> Ellen, will you do us a favor and walk us through the bowl? Oh, sure. Yes. So here we've got some caramelized onion hummus topped with a home-based special macadamia dripper with chili. Mm. Beautiful. Mm. We've got she that. said spicy, she said nutty. Delicious. I've got carrot sticks. We've got cucumber sticks. We've got Coles brand. We have our first cheese. Yes. We've got some vegan blue cheese. Yes. Next to the vegan blue cheese, we've got some homemade pita chips. Yes. Yes. And Annabelle beautifully baked them in the oven. Took me hours. Hours and hours. Hours. Took me about two minutes. We've got some lovely strawberries. Yes. Fresh from the ground. And Fresh they're put into a punnet and sold at Coles. We have some crescuts cut mm. into halves. So we don't have any crackers. Yes. Yeah. So this is just like a little tip at home. If you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to make yourself a little like bougie vegan board, you don't have to be fancy. Use what you've got in your cupboard. Cut in half a crescuts. Just eat whatever's in the fridge. And call it cheese. It's cheese. It's cheese. What is cheese but old things? Exactly. <laughs> That's so <laughs> deep. Are we cheese? Yeah, on a t-shirt. Continuing on, we've mm. got the second vegan cheese. Mm. A cashew brie, I believe. A it cashew brie, an ashed cashew brie. Ash cashew brie. I don't know what ash, ash is. brie. Is ash like like from a fire? Like from a fire. Oh. And I don't know what it does for flavour. Okay. It's just a fun look. Although I think it kind of tastes a little moldy, but it does. It, it, it can't even mould. It's not. It's can mold. Everything can mold. Can I mold? <laughs> That's another t-shirt. Everything <laughs> can mold. Look at you coming up with a mess. <laughs> and we've come to the final vegan cheese. It's a marinated feta. Yeah, she is. She's gorgeous. I believe it's garlic marinated. Oh! But we'll taste, we'll see. We'll taste. Or we'll, we'll read the packet. Who knows? Who knows? You won't. Yeah. And we've also got some relishes oh, yes. to accompany. In this corner, we've got a mango chutney. Mango chutney. Mango chutney. Really any type of chutney. And in this corner, we've got a caramelized onion. Caramelized Relish. onion. To <laughs> go with our caramelized onion hummus. <laughs> and of course, we've got some sex. Just to really top it off. <laughs> We're being really fancy tonight. Oh, and featuring from a previous video, if you're an Annabelle of the Wolf fan. Yeah. We have a Chris Kringle present. Oh. Here's the link to the video. Hey. YouTubers do that. Yeah, they do. <laughs> and these were stunningly, beautifully, generously gifted to me by this McFadden right here. You are. Ellen McFadden. Link in the description <laughs> below. Subscribe to the channel. Let's Wonderful. open this cheeky mix. Oh. You <gasps> done did it. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, she's done this once or twice. And I, I literally mean once or twice, that's it. <laughs> I'll take it for me. Yeah. Has the experience for Exactly. Ready? Yeah. Woo! Woo! 
She didn't even have a floor. No, she fancy. Expert. She expert. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, Davis.
this on your wine? Uh, making a mess of this cheese. It's so not and hard. Uh, oh, okay. You've, you've, you've breathed? I've breathed, but it's everywhere. Have you breathed all over yourself? Definitely not a cheese. Not a, not a text. It's definitely a paste. We need oh. cheese? <laughs> Gives me cheese vibes. That's just a paste. No, that's fully a paste. This is like you need a spoon to eat it. Perhaps slightly more a camembert. She's a little saltier than a general brew. General brew. That's the general idea. General, general idea. idea. Yeah, she's nice. She's nice. But she's not a cheese. I'm gonna give that like a five. I don't know. It's still nice. It's still nice. But it's got like that out of skin flavor throughout the whole thing. But that's not what brew is. Maybe I can agree with your five. No, it's still nice. It's there. No, it's nice. Yeah. And that's that on the vegan cheese. That's that on the cheese. We're not going to rate the carrots and cucumber. Because if you don't know what they taste like, where have you been? You need some fiber in your diet. <laughs> <laughs> that's problematic. We'll be back later to review some vegan smoked salmon, some vegan ham, some mushroom jerky, and that's it. And a twiglet for fun. Oh my god, yeah. We also have that in the cupboard. <laughs>